we should be relying on our guys to do the work, not OPEC. And I don't know who's running the federal government these days, uh, Joe Biden or Prince John uh, from uh, 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 Prince John, but. That, okay, 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 fine. Uh, many people did wonder what Prince she was talking about. Prince John from um, uh, Let's Look, because this morning she did tweet out to clarify what she did mean. Uh, apparently it was Prince John, which she did tweet here. For the record, Prince John uh, better than uh, Joe Biden. So of course, that is the Prince John from uh, Robin Hood from the 70s, the Disney Robin Hood from the 70s. He was like a cougar or a cat or something like that. Um, and he, because this is her point that she was trying to make before her brain stopped working, uh, he steals from the poor uh, to make himself even richer. I want you to think about that again. Steals from the poor to make himself richer, but that's a Democrat. Okay, so also uh, before we get to some of that, because I want to get some more details, because I looked up Prince John, because I haven't watched that movie since I was seven years old, probably five. <laughs> um, here's, here's a couple more characteristics of that particular prince in that particular movie. He also had an extremely bad habit of sucking his thumb intensely, as you saw at that picture, at the most unacceptable times, making him appear childish and immature, but also making him a tragic character because of his immaturity and chicken heartedness. I want you guys to start forming in your brain which former president embodies these characteristics. He is stingy and loves money more than anything else in the world and continually finds ways to rob and swindle his people in the pursuit of wealth. Who's that? Also, he has an extremely bad temper, often being set off by the slightest criticism or when he's embarrassed and lashes out at anybody near him. Is that President Biden or is that President Trump? Anyways, let's move on to more of this, uh, another section of this. Actually, you know what, let's, Rivana, I want you in here now because this first part was really the, the, the draw of the entire. Yeah. I mean, well, she's talking about foreign oil and meeting um, you know, with the Saudi government. The obvious thing that she should have said there was Prince MBS. Like that would have made sense in context of the oh. conversation. But I actually don't think she was talking about Prince John from um, uh, from Robin Hood. I think that's a lie. I'm fairly certain she was talking about Prince John of the Damage Report. She's just a big <laughs> fan. <laughs> Coming up next. <laughs> Well, I, it will, hopefully he does talk about it too, because then he'll get a chance to clear his name. Because now, I mean, the gauntlet has been laid down. Maybe it was him. But now, by the way, maybe she, you would have thought she would have uh, picked up the pieces a little bit in this interview. Jesse was, I think, trying to help her out. Sometimes when you see your buddy on air finding, not finding the words, maybe you want to assist a little bit. Uh, he, he didn't, he didn't do much to help her. But she did stumble over her words again when she was trying this next criticism of of, of Biden. Here's Biden's energy policy, anyone but America, OPEC, Venezuela, you name it. If it's not American energy, Joe doesn't want it. <laughs> if it's not American energy, Joe doesn't want it. So if it's not American energy, Joe doesn't want it. So with this American energy that we're talking about, um, does it go straight to us? Do we get like free gas, Do these companies that pump oil? On American land, which we do, um, does it go to us? I, I, it never has to really make sense as long as you just say it's our oil. Do we own it? Do we just get it? Is it part of our? Is, is it part of what we get through our taxes? It doesn't really make any sense. But they'll keep saying if we pump oil here, it's it's if we extend the X, Keystone XL pipeline, we're going to get all that oil. Why would we? Why? Based off of what? How does this business model work? These are businesses and the prices have gone up because we keep buying the stuff. <laughs> That's why we talk about Russians making all this money. They also won't like ever come to terms with the fact because they love to say, well, they stopped the Keystone XL pipeline. Uh, if, if they hadn't done that, you know, we could be using that uh, you know, gas right now and said, but that's not true. It would have not been functional for like five more years and would have yep. Nothing it would have literally no impact on our current, you know, uh, energy, you know, crisis or situation that's going on now. But God, that woman is so dumb, like impressively <laughs> dumb. And I mean, to be as racist as she is, you also have to be extremely ignorant and stupid. So like they go hand in hand. But like every time she opens her mouth, she says something that I'm like, how how did you get there? How did yeah. you how did you get to Washington? Did you just not speak the whole, the whole election? Did no one? Ever hear anything you had to say, or were they all just as ignorant as you? You get you get put in certain positions, and you get followers and clout based off of nothing. 
I want you to guys try and figure out what anything that Lauren Boebert's policies are. She walked around talking about how she's gonna carry a Glock in the Congress. That was her policy. That's why we've got this now.